Hello students, let's learn about carol diagrams in this video. This diagram is named after a very smart mathematician, Lewis Carroll, who is also the author of the book Alice in Wonderland. Here we use rectangular tables to display the data in yes or no way. So we sort the data using carol diagrams by two different categories using the yes or no situation. Uh, so you can say that we use it for cross classification. Let's see these carol diagrams. The first one is about the shapes in which we have sorted different shapes. The first label says that it's a triangle. So the other box or the other group is a shape which is not a triangle. So this is done with one sorting rule. Now let's see the other carol diagram. So this is also about shapes but this is done with two sorting rules. So one is uh, we need to check whether the shape is a square or not a square. The second sorting rule is to check whether the shape is in red color or it is not a red color. All right, so this diagram is sorted with uh, two sorting rules. So here in this column, you can see that this shape is a square and it is red. All right, so you can see like this, red and square. And these shapes are also red, but they are not squares. So let's go to the next row of this table. So these shapes are not red and they are squares. So they are not red, but they are squares. And this box says that these shapes are not red and they're not squares too. So I hope you all learned this lesson uh, and you enjoyed it. I hope uh, you all will do the exercises followed by this clip very carefully, all right? Let's see how to create a carol diagram for these shapes, triangle and circle with different colors. So it says that you need to make a blue triangle here and a blue circle here. So this row will have only blue things and this row is only for the green thing. So you will get a green triangle here and a green circle here. So let's start. So it says blue triangle. So let me draw a blue triangle. Done. When you come to this box, it says blue circle. So let me draw a circle. All right. Now let's come to this box. This says that we need to have a green triangle. So let's draw a green triangle. Now this box says we need to have a green circle. So let's draw a green circle. And let's give a suitable title to it. I can call it shapes. All right. This way we can complete the parallel diagram. Let's do another worksheet on carol diagram. So this worksheet says we need to sort the numbers into two different groups of odd and even and also we need to see if the number is less than 10 or more than 10 and accordingly put them in different groups. Alright, so let's start with the first number which is 5. So let's check whether it is odd or even and focus only on one attribute and then go to the next one. So 5 is an odd number and then we are going to check the second uh, criteria which is less than 10 or more than 10 5 is less than 10 so I'm going to put 5 here strike it out so 11 the next number is 11 so it's an odd number but it is more than 10 so I'm going to write it in this box odd and more than 10 the next number is 4 which is an even number so it should come in this row and it's less than 10 so we are going to write 4 here. Done. 16 is again an even number, but it is more than 10. So I'm going to put 16 here. What about 18? Again an even number, 
but it's more than 10 so I'm going to put it in the even and more than 10 done the next number is 15 which is an odd number and it is more than 10 so I'm going to put it here the next number is 2 which is an even number so it will come in this row but it is less than 10 so it will come in this box the next number is 12 which is again an even number and it's more than 10 so even and more than 10 is this box so let's write 12 here done so the last number left is 7 let's check it's an odd number and it is less than 10 so odd number less than 10 will come here so we have sorted the numbers based on two sorting rules whether they are odd or even and also whether they are less than 10 or more than 10 so this carol diagram is now complete and i hope you all enjoyed the lesson and i wish you all the best for your exercises